Hey guys, Stephen Turner here for Turner Fishing. So, a lot, of, a lot of the main reasons that always held me back as, you know, I always say I'm a casual fisherman because I fish a lot more than most people, you know, at least four to five days a week. But one of the biggest drawbacks of jig fishing is the cost. Because honestly, some of the good jigs are four to six dollars a piece. You pitch them in a brush pile, they're gone. So I always do a Texas rig or, you know, just a, a Carolina rig and stuff like that instead of picking up a jig and trying to learn how to fish it. But I was on Tackle Warehouse ordering a glide bait, which I'll be making a video on soon. I hope if these herring fish will cooperate. But I was like, man, I'm going to go check out the jig, see what, see what the cheapest one that God is. So I'm on there. I'm strolling, I'm strolling, strolling. I'm like, oh, wow. A living rubber jig for two dollars and thirty cent I think it's two dollars and something which is the same price as those crappy thin wire hook Walmart ones you can get the lucky strike ones I was like all right so I ordered about four of them now I've never used a living rubber jig and honestly I would pay five dollars for this jig just for the living rubber they're hand tied and I don't know if y'all know this but when living rubber hits the water it expands a lot faster when it hits that bottom it's like a like a balloon which I got underwater footage if y'all didn't know so keep looking I'm gonna uh, put on a couple different trailers show them underwater but I mean this jig is just phenomenal it's a football jig but for two dollars and some change you can't beat it guys so I'm gonna talk about it real quick that's it right there a bass patrol jig you see at the top it's hand tied and it says on the back Japanese design it tells you how to fish a jig <laughs> it says whether you fish shallow or deep slowly raise your rod tip six inches two feet six inches to two feet lifting the jig off the bottom and moving it forward simple as that guys and from doing the underwater because i already did the underwater stuff this is what trailer really stood out the most now i've used this jig i fish with this jig today but this is a, a habit i don't even know the name of this it's not a pit boss well they ain't got a name on it but it's pretty much like a pit ball, really. Right there. So that bad boy right there just stands up. There's, I mean, you'll see it on the underwater footage here in a minute. But, yeah, guys, I mean, net bait, the, the pack of chunk. I got it on the underwater footage also, and a rage bug. I would The pack of chunk's probably the best for slow rolling in the winter time or even slow rolling now in the summer heat so check it out guys order you a couple of them i mean i don't get no reimbursement i just it's a nice jig i wanted to shoot some underwater footage with the gopro hero 5 because i ain't got to do that yet so if y'all enjoy videos like this let me know down below and leave a comment to what jig trailer and the underwater footage that you would use let's check them out
Thank mm-hmm. you.